At long last, Solo Leveling's first episode for its anime has officially come out. And my goodness, what a what a first episode. Like, this was hella good. Like, the animation, the art, and just the way it's adapted, like... This is this is really good. Like, oh my goodness, it's good. And it makes sense that this series got a good adaptation. And let's talk about that. So leveling, say whatever you want. It is the most popular webtoon series. I believe it is. It's statistically speaking, in terms of cells and stuff, I think so leveling is the most popular. Now, it is it the best written? Probably not. But the point of the matter is, is that in terms of success, so leveling is very successful. I feel like Pretty much anyone that's in, like, the webtoon community, the manga community, anime community has probably heard something about Soul Leveling or seen an image of Soul Leveling at one point or time while browsing the internet. It is a very popular series, and for a very long time now, people have been wanting an anime. And after all the wait and potential worries as well, you know, the first episode has arrived, and the first episode is magnificent. It is truly... Such a good episode, like, the art and animation is just, oh my goodness, like, jaw-dropping. I've been seeing, like, a lot of animators and stuff, like, just drooling at the mouth from this first episode that aired today. It's good, it's gorgeous, and it perfectly captures that emotion, that, you know, feeling you get when you first read this story. I really like that. I honestly expected the first episode to cover a little bit more content, but I think the pacing-wise of the first episode, they did a good job. Like, I'm not even disappointed. It was really good the way they ended it, and oh my goodness, like, the savagery on display. Like, there is a lot of, like, violence, a lot of, like, blood, etc. within this first episode, and it, it's pretty much uncensored. I'm actually really happy about that because going forward within cell leveling, there is going to be a lot of dark content. And the fact that just from the first episode alone, I got to see a glimpse of what to expect from like the action. Oh my goodness, we're in for a very good ride for soul leveling. Now, before I go any further, I need to cover a few things, okay? For a disclaimer purposes. So I have read the web novel, like, you know, the webtoon version of So Leveling, you know, the original source, but also I have technically read the original original source, the light novel. FYI, if you did not know that, So Leveling it was adapted from a light novel into a webcomic, and then now it has an anime. The light novel is really good. Like, it goes way further than, like, you know, the webcomic did, and I don't think it is a perfect series. There is fundamental flaws with Soul Leveling, but it is a very fun series. It's one of those series that you can just enjoy. You really can just sit down and enjoy a good power fantasy, and that is what is perfectly on display here. And say whatever you want, Soul Leveling is very popular. It legitimately is. One of the most successful series for webcomics or webtoons in general, and, you know, seeing it get a proper adaptation, this is a massive feat. This is a nice step in the right direction, because at this point in time, you know, there's been some good adaptations of webtoons, like Tower God had a decent one. It's not perfect, but it was decent. And seeing Soul Leveling actually getting a very good adaptation for an anime makes me very happy, because, you know, this is the step in the right direction for web tune adaptations into anime because there's so many good stories that could just make great anime if they were given the chance and love and attention to detail and it's very clear that the team that is working on so leveling that worked on this episode really wanted to give us great content because my goodness there's a little frames here and there throughout this episode that is just so gorgeous like this scene like oh my goodness come on now like this the movement to the camera angles here is so beautiful and jaw-dropping i was like yeah they they cooked like seriously the team that worked on this you know first episode of subleveling leveling really cooked a gourmet mill now let's get into the actual content what is so leveling about okay because i want to bet you a lot of people that watch this episode and all that might be newcomers they might not know what to expect this could be their really first time ever being introduced into the soul leveling community and the series in general and so let's talk about it so fundamentally so leveling is a power fantasy that is the quickest way to really summarize it you probably have seen images of what soul leveling looks like certain things that might have interested you in the past and it is fundamentally that now 
It is really good. It clearly takes inspiration from stuff like maybe SAO to a degree. Now, I'm not saying fully. I, I, there's no confirmation of that. But there is elements that do kind of feel like SAO to a degree when it comes to, like, the systems and all that's in place. But, I mean, nowadays there's so many, like, webtoons and webcomics that kind of find like follow this formula that, you know, it's hard to know where it kind of started from to begin with. But one thing is very clear. That so lovely definitely paved the path for a very popular genre within webcomics. And, you know, the story of it pretty much follows our main male character that is the weakest, Hunter. He's the weakest, like, dungeon explorer. He's not really strong, and he's an underdog. He's someone that really can't do much whatsoever. And so you're constantly watching this episode, kind of wanting to see things go right for him. You're, like, hoping maybe things can go good for him, but clearly, you know, things are not going right for him. This whole dungeon here happens, and we see a lot of people die. It's a very brutal introduction to the world, how unforgiving it actually is. And just our MC really can't do much whatsoever. I mean, he is a e rank hunter, while he has, like, a b rank killer right here that's not even able to do anything that's like yikes that's that's not good so like all things considered you know so leveling's introduction it is very power fantasy slash action based and i feel like if you're someone that really loves action like just action in general this is going to be your series, and I feel like if there's one thing that's going to heavily carry Soul Leveling's anime, it is going to be the action. Now, I'm not saying the story isn't good, there is some good stuff to the story, but the action is the forefront. It is the main focus of the story, and you clearly see it when you read the series, so I am excited to see how these animators cook, because... The action is going to look incredible if they are given enough time to actually work on these episodes. Now, music-wise, oh my goodness, we need to talk about this ending song, or opening song. I'm assuming this is technically the opening song. The song that played here was mesmerizing. I did not expect it to go as hard. I think, out of all the songs so far I've heard from this anime season, I think this might be my favorite song. Like, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll need some more time with it, I'll need to see the visuals accompanying this uh, opening song, but so far... My favorite opening. Like, it's really freaking good. So, yeah, Soul Leveling is here at long last. And I know a lot of people are happy about it. A lot of people are excited. And it makes sense. I mean, it's a good episode. And I really don't see any fundamental flaws with the first episode. The only thing I really can, if I wanted to cherry pick and really nitpick at the episode, is that uh, there's not a lot of, like, character development. I mean, we got some characterization for the MC, but that, that's about it. It was mainly world building. That's what the first episode was truly trying to focus on, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It wants to invest you in this world of what to expect, what kind of creatures, what kind of dungeons, etc. So that's completely fine. And also, it is the first episode. So, yeah, to be fair, it makes a lot of sense. But uh, that's the only complaint I guess you could get from this. But everything else, it's solid. Like, a very solid first episode. I would give it, like, a an 8.5 out of 10, 8, somewhere around in there, it's good, like, I, I have no complaints at all, um, we'll just have to see where it goes, see if the quality continues or gets better or worse, we'll have to see, but, um, so leveling, yeah, came in strong, definitely came in strong for this anime season, I could definitely see this becoming the most popular series of this anime season, if the anime continues to get good, around episode 5, we'll probably really see if the series is going to give us quality or not, like, by episode 5, if it's good and it gets better, I'm expecting this series to blow up. Like, really blow up in popularity. Everybody's going to be talking about it online. So yeah, I'll see you when that actually happens. But anyways, you all have a fantastic day or night, wherever you live. And if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy Soul Leveling, do leave me a like. It does help me out a lot and I would greatly appreciate it. But be safe. Chibi out. Mm -hmm.